Hi! Hi! I'm, I'm sorry. Welcome back. It's been a little while. Been a week. <laughs> I know this show has been at least somewhat anticipated. You've got all the big matches here. You've got this is a Rumble show. It's Rumble. It's Rumble time. I know the Rumble's gone. The Rumble's bid past, but it's Rumble time. It's Rumble season. January, usually Rumble season. People still talk about Rumble in February. Who gives a fuck? And we're starting off with a battle royal. Now I want kind of want to keep the card a little bit secret for the uh, most of the show. I don't know why. Now. I don't know why I'm doing that now, but I'm gonna sneeze. Fuck. Anyway. Okay, I finally sneezed there. Thank God. <laughs> so, some just some important matches we're gonna see here. Uh, main event's gonna be Bullet Club versus the Colony again. Um, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make sure that there, there's not gonna be another another disqualification. There's not gonna be another count out win. Uh, we're gonna see that that match title is actually gonna be on the first night of the show, which hasn't happened before. At least recording this, but. <laughs> Fuck with Deathmatch Tower. Fuck, fuck Brendan Shop. Fuck Brendan Shop. Um, Sabu's wrestling tonight. Uh, Brian Keefe and Adam Page are going after this match. The first ever. Uh, actually, before I'll I'll do that before I'm done with the show. Um, let's see who else is wrestling here. Uh, Bam Margera of of uh, Jackass fame is wrestling Claudio Castagnoli. <laughs> and uh, I think it's night, yeah, night two. Uh, so it's been decided for the real world title. It's going to be Terry Bam Bam Gordy, the guy who wrestled in John Jones' last three matches, versus the Mighty Maccabee, the former, yeah, the the former real world champion, because John Jones beat Maccabee for the real world title. So that's going to be main event at night two, and night three, we're going to be seeing. The 50 band rumble that's gonna be it actually that's gonna be a separate video but I'm, I'm gonna call that like night three rumble no, I'm just gonna call it the rumble and then night th night three main event we're gonna see Genichiro Tenryu defending wrestling for jump against Jumbo Saruta for the heavyweight title if Genichiro Tenryu wins the heavyweight title he'll be the, he will be like the second person in history to win the title twice behind Suwama so this match why am I booking this match? What is this match for? Well, this match is for this belt. The Fire Pro Wrestling Super Heavyweight Championship. Anyone over 265 pounds can wrestle for this belt. So, here's our here's our combatants for the first ever Fire Pro Wrestling Super Heavyweight Championship match. Gorilla Monsoon, Joe Doring, Beer City Bruiser representing Z-Man Enterprises, Bob Sapp, Takeshi Rikio of Wild 2, Yapper Man 4, Butterbean, and Zangief. This is going to be a fucking trip. Over to Top Row Battle Royal. Let's see, I, um, Scott Steiner was originally going to be in this one, but I just didn't really feel like Scott Steiner really needed to be in this. So, we were in the Tokyo Dome. Here was Bob Sapp, former IWGB Heavyweight Champion in real life. <laughs> so feels fucking weird to say. Man. The fucking the beast, Bob Sapp. I hope he fucking wins. I I, I love Bob Sapp. <laughs> Bob Sapp's awesome. Oh, that that's and uh, referee for tonight's gonna be Keith Bang. No, I'm not making that name up. That his name is Keith Bang. Here's Beer City Bruiser. Not a lot of success, Beer City Bruiser. Oh yeah, it was fucking Z-Man Enterprises are wrestling for the Never Openweight Tag Titles. I just remembered that. Yeah, the, it's gonna be Ryan Davidson, Brian Malonis, and Ricky Mandel wrestling Dalton Castle and the Boys for the Never Openweight Title. That's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be like near the end of the show, near the end of this night. Joe Dory, former uh, Triple Crown Champion. We have a lot of former World Champions. In this match. Not in real life, not in this game, of course. But in real life, Joe Doring, I think, is a former IWGP Triple. Not, no, former Triple Crown Champion for all of Japan. Excuse me. Bob Zapp, a former uh, IWGP Heavyweight Champion. 
you know, they're like a month, uh, like two months. Real monsoon. I don't, I don't know if he, he did. Did he ever hold a title? I don't think he ever did. Not a world title. Not, not, not a world title. Probably like a heavyweight title. Probably like a like a regional title. Like oh yeah, like the the, the New York heavyweight title or something like that. Bob Zapp and Jordor staring each other down. You see that? Look at that. Here comes Zangief. Of Street Fighter coming in from coming in from uh, Russia. He's our he, the Red Cyclone coming in from our he's our Russian import. <laughs> fucking look at him. Fucking look at Zangief. Alright, who's up next? Oh Yapper not Yapper Man before. Butterbean. Butterbean man. Butterbean's a bad motherfucker. I a lot of these guys, I would, I'm fine with anyone in this match. Right? Anyone in this match, I'm fine with. Like literally anybody in this match, I'm cool with me. Like, it, it, like I don't think there's a single person in this match I don't want to see. Gapper Man Four coming in. I think this is his first match. Yeah. Ugh, excuse me. The Yapper Mans are in Dragon Gate, I believe it, and they're not in any of. They haven't been in any matches. I gotta book these motherfuckers in like a eight man tag title match or something. I guess anyone over two hundred and sixty five pounds are eligible for a heavyweight for the super heavyweight title. Rikeshi Rikio, uh former GHC heavyweight champion. I believe a former five wrestling tag team champion, if I'm not mistaken. He's a former he won the belt with uh Takeshi Morishima. Yeah, with Wild too. Here we go. I think that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. Keith Bang. So we have. So we have. Oh! Gapper Man 4 immediately gets eliminated. Like, that was 10. That's not even like a second. Like, five seconds of the match. So we have. Butterbean, Takeshi Rikio, Beer City Bruiser, uh, Bob Zap, Gorilla Monsoon, Zangief. Shit, let me say that again. I think I already said, said Zangief. Butterbead, Beer City Bruiser, Takeshi Rikio, uh, Zangief, Gorilla Monsoon, Joe Doring, and Bob Zap. Alright, there you go. There's all of them. Double Lariat by, by Joe Doring and Zangief. Zangief. Wait, I think it was that, does that the double German suplex? Zangief went for a backhand. Butterbean. I think he was a strongman champion, I think. Gorilla Monsoon body slams Butter. Gorilla Monsoon, uh, he of course has had a lot of dealings with boxers, you know. Like I, I think it was I think it was Muhammad Ali. Was he? Uh, did he fuck with, Did Muhammad Ali get a air, get airplane spin by Gorilla? I don't know. You know, really, I don't really know. Oh, there goes Gorilla Monsoon. As I was talking about, he gets eliminated. So Monsoon, the second elimination. Eliminated by Butterbean. Beer City Bruiser, Bob Sapp. Double suplex to Joe Doring. So how'd you guys like the Rumble? La uh, last night. Not last night. Yeah, yeah, last night. How'd you, like, how'd you guys like the Rumble last night? Or... Two days ago, as I'm recording this, is this is probably going to come in probably tomorrow. So, how'd you guys like the rumble? I liked it. I thought the rumble was all right. You know, am I the only one that thinks Pat McAfee's annoying? Like, like I don't know. It's like, oh yeah, Pat McAfee's great on commentary. Where no, the fuck he isn't? I think he's just. I think he's just really fucking annoying on commentary. You know, rumble was fine. Cody won again, which, if he fucking loses at Mania again, then I'm just gonna stop watching that. Fucking WWE. Ooh, fucking Lord. Byron's carry powerbomb by Zangief. Bruiser, Bruiser, what's he looking for? But not that apparently. Bruiser and Doring fighting each other. Double power, triple not double power. Assisted powerbomb by Bob Sapp and Zangief. No eliminations for a little bit. So, last elimination was uh, Gorilla Monsoon. 
That was like a minute ago. Yeah, it was a minute ago, actually. Yeah, it was a minute ago. This is how this time is gonna replace the MMA title. Cause look, the MMA, I th I thought the MMA title kind of sucked. <laughs> I thought that thing kind of sucked. You know, it's just like MMA fights. I th the, I, all of them ended the same. They all ended in, like with fucking chaos. It was it's kind of fucking boring. It got boring. You know, the, at least the real world title is like not really all that boring. Oh shit! Beer City Bruiser stay almost gets eliminated, but he stays in. I'm not even focusing on the match. Takeshi Rikyo fighting Zangief. Bob Sapp fighting Butterbean. That's a dream match that nobody asked for. Everyone knows that I'm the big man. Oh, Beer City Bruiser is out of there. Beer City Bruiser's brain streak. Once again. Beer City Bruiser's just been fucking losing. Bob Sapp almost eliminates Butterbean. If Butterbean. Belly to belly suplex to Bob. I don't know, man. Like beer, every time I book Beer City Bruiser in a match, super kick by Butterbean. That's fucking crazy. Every time I book uh, Beer City Bruiser in a match, he always fucking loses. And there goes Butterbean. Bob Zap has eliminated Butterbean, but Takeshi Rikio eliminates fucking Bob Zap. We're down to Joe Doring, Sangi, and Takeshi Rikio. Oh shit, Takeshi Riki almost fucking, almost football tackled him out of the ring. And Zangief, oh, almost eliminates Joe Doring. Riki, I think, tried to lariat Zangief out of the ring. Oh, double, oh, double Germans, I don't know what pinning is going to be used for. Oh shit, back body drop out of the ring. Rikio immediately tries to eliminate Zangief. Short arm clothesline by Takeshi Rikio. The former, or one of the, a former GHC Heavyweight Champion. He beat, uh, he beat Kobashi. Yeah, he ended Kobashi's, like, three-year-long reign. Yeah, he ended that massive title run. That's crazy. And then he did absolutely nothing. He did almost nothing with that belt. He wrestled like Tanahashi, and then he dropped it to Masawa. Like it's crazy. Ooh, shoulder tackle by Takeshi Rikio. Suplex by Zangief. But yeah, that Rumble was all right. Like it was an okay Rumble. It was not the best Rumble, but like it was an okay one. We saw we saw CM Punk come back, which was, was nice. But he didn't really look that good. But you know he. You know, he's, he's old, I guess. Cody won, which, I mean, a lot, I think most people were expecting Cody to win. Sunset flip powerbomb by Zangief, my god. Um, who, what else happened? <laughs> Wait, what the, what, yeah, what the fuck else happened? Um, Logan Paul. That Logan Paul, I fucking... Okay, here's the thing. Every time I watch a Lo every time Logan Paul matches come on, like a pay review, I just fucking tune out. Oh my fucking lord. Like, I just, I just tune out. Like, I don't think I have a Logan Paul model here, even though Logan Paul is on the workshop, probably. I just don't give a shit about Logan Paul. I hate him, but, well, oh, shit. Dude, this is a fucking battle royal. Who cares? Shit, Zangief. Like, every time I watch, I, every time I see a Logan Paul match, I just fucking zone out. I just don't pay attention to it, because I fucking hate Logan Paul. Like, it's just... Like, my thing is, like, I don't care whether or not Logan Paul is, like, really athletic and shit like that. Ooh, shit, choke slam by Rikio. Like, I don't care. And Rikio, oh, Rikio's almost out. Rikio. Oh, Zangief is our new, the inaugural super heavyweight champion. And what a fucking super... What an inaugural champion this is. What an inaugural champion. Fucking Zangief, man. 
Yapper Man 4 was eliminated, eliminated in 8 seconds. And I feel bad for him. I feel bad for... I feel bad for Yapper Man 4, man. I, I think he should get a match. No, I think I think it'd be more. I think it would make more sense if Takeshi Rikio was given a match. Super heavyweight. I'm, I'm typing it down right here. Okay, right there we go. Did, did he not fucking win the belt? Did he? Oh yeah, I don't think he did. Yeah, it's vacant. They, it's always like that. They, they never fucking win a belt. Yeah, they never win the belt. So, was I right on the... Yeah, I was right. Ricky O is a former Fire Pro Tag Champion. But anyway. I don't know why I went over there. Alright. This next match. Probably a filler match. It's mostly a filler match. This match is mostly just going to be filler. It's no, no, nothing really in this match of substance. Only from one thing. Brian Keith. The Bounty Hunter. What the fuck is the difference? <laughs> Literally, what the fuck is the difference? Anyway. Brian Keith. Facing off. Against Brian... Against... Not Brian. Not Brian Cage. Against Adam Page. Is he here? Where is Adam Page? Do I not have Adam Page? I swear to fucking god if I don't have Adam Page. I'm gonna have to call an audible. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? Where's Adam Page? Oh my god, do I not have Adam Page? Oh my god, I don't think I have Adam Page. Oh my god. I fucking booked this match for Brian for Brian Keith and I, the other guy that he's wrestling is not even in, not even in this fucking game. At least I don't think he I'm gonna let me look for him some more. I don't know where he is. He would be in fucking Bullet Club or he would be in uh AEW. Uh where is he? He is not here. Alright, Gabe Kid still the Fire Pro champ, still the Fire Pro Junior champ, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to call an audible. I'll call an audible. Let's see who who who, who, who Brian Keith can wrestle. Let's see. Instead of Adam Page, we're gonna book him up. We're gonna we're gonna dab Brian Cage. Not Brian, no. We're gonna get Brian Cage. No. I'm gonna get fucked up. Oh yeah, I'm calling them both Brian. <laughs> now the booty man. <laughs> yeah, Torbergs maybe. <laughs> that Jay Leno. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let's book him against Eddie Edwards. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just book him against Eddie Edwards. And the winner of this match. So, Brian Page, Brian Key, Adam Page was supposed to be in this match, but Eddie Edwards is going to fill the void because Brian Key, because Adam Page is not in this game apparently. I have, I never downloaded Adam Page. So, Brian Keith. Current DPW National Champion, to my knowledge, I, I think he still is, is going to be facing off against Eddie Edwards, uh, TNA, uh, I think Grand Slam Champion, or Triple Crown Champion, I don't know. He's won like every belt in TNA at least once. Because he's a... That's a triple crown, because he's a world champion. He, he held the, he's held the X Division title, I think, or the TV title. And then he's held the uh, tag titles a bunch of times with uh, Dave Richards. So, Eddie Edwards and Brian Keith, these two guys are going to wrestle tonight. And the winner of this match 
is getting an IWGP Intercontinental title shot next show. So whoever wins this is, is the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. That's that's why these two are wrestling. That's the story. Brian Keith, big body slam. I've been fascinated with Brian Keith ever since I saw him. He's such an interesting guy. I've never seen a full Brian Keith match, but I really should. DDT by Brian Keith. Do you prefer Eddie Edwards or Davey, or Davey Richards? I think Davey's always been the bigger star of the two. I think Davey's always been the bigger guy. He's always been the guy that's just been, oh yeah, fuck, look at, look at uh, Davey Richards, you know, because it's fucking Davey Richards, you know, he's awesome. But then, like, Eddie Edwards, he's not exactly the Marty Jannetty of the team, because, like, he, he, Eddie Edwards has had a successful career, right? He's had a long career at TNA, former TNA champ, former Ring of Honor champ. Wait, shit, is he a former Ring of Honor champ? Is he? A, shit, I don't know if he's a former Ring of Honor. Let me, let me look. Let me look. Like, Eddie's had a, like, okay, what I'm trying to say, Eddie, Eddie's had a decent career, but he's not the Marty Jannetty. He, fucking... He's just Brian Cage, not Brian Cage. Fucking Davey is just like more successful than Eddie. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's the first ever Ring of Honor TV champ. I know that. Ooh, Ooh God. Yep, yeah, full Ring of Honor champion. He beat Davey, or did Davey beat him? I don't know. It was either he beat Davey for the belt, or Davey beat him for the belt. I know, I think it was like Davey had a really long reign, and then Bron and then Eddie beat him, I think. Let me look. Yeah. No, it was Eddie Edwards, it was, no, it was Eddie Edwards, and then David Richards beat him and had that long ass reign. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he was a, he, the first, the first ever TV champ, the first ever Ring of Honor TV champ, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, first ever Ring of Honor TV champ. Uh, one-time GHC heavyweight champion. Yeah, he's a former. He's a former GHC champ. I don't know. I think like I never really remember that when I think of Eddie Edwards. Like, oh yeah, he's a former uh, GHC heavyweight champion. Like, that just always seems weird. Like, it's it's not really weird. It's just like. It's not really weird, it's just like, oh yeah, he had that belt for like, a couple months, you know. Oh yeah, he is, yeah, Brian Keefe is still the heavyweight, is the national champ. Former reality, fuck, former reality of wrestling, fuck. Goddamn, rah, rah, rash. Former reality of wrestling heavyweight champion. That's the company owned by Booker T. Brian Keefe. Big jumping knee there. By Brian Keefe and Eddie Edwards. Uh, I think Brian Keefe's finisher is a Tiger Driver. Big, but well, that was a big ending by Brian Keefe. Eddie Edwards is oh shit. What's this? Ooh, sit up power bomb by Brian Keefe. 2.9. Eddie Edwards' finisher is the Shining Wizard. Or is a shine? I I think it's a Shining Wizard. Eddie went for something. Brian Keefe hits him with a. Larry to the back of the head. And Brian Keefe could send. Oh my fucking god. Followed immediately by a leg hook. What a nasty fucking Frankensteiner that was. Jesus Christ. Do you think Eddie Edwards wrestles. Do you think Eddie Edwards is wrestling better in this. in these, like, jeans? Do you think. It, I mean, Brian Keefe's wrestling in pants, but I don't, I, I don't think those are jeans. Those are like wrestling pants. Like, he allows free form movement. Whereas those jeans might restrict some stuff. But Eddie, Eddie's been doing good so far, so like, he. I, get, I mean, my fucking words. Eddie has an arm drag. Sends Brian Keefe to the mat. Elbow. To the face. Like, to the fucking face. Eddie. Ooh! Falcon Arrow, that might be it. Two for nine. Brian Keefe able to kick out. 
Larry by Eddie. And now Eddie, what's he looking for here? Oh shit. That might be it. That might have been the fucking 2.9. That might have been a shining wizard. I don't know. Cause I know some people do those shining wizard like just like not the like the Budo way where he like gets someone down on their knee. And oh shit, ooh, Kiwi Crusher. That's it, Eddie Edwards is a number one contender for the Intercontinental title with a Kiwi Crusher, no less, and not the Shining Wizard. I'm gonna be eating my fucking words if he if he has never used a Shining Wizard in his life. What was that? That was the Fisherman Driver. It was a Kiwi Crusher. Fucking idiot. Where is Eddie? Boston. Yeah, Boston Knee Party, right? What is the Boston? Knee? What? Are you? I'm trying to remember what the Boston Knee Party is, anyway. All right, so this is non-title match. <laughs> another non-title match. Another match where a title is not going to be defended. We have a new tag team of the Classic Connection. Ricky Mandel. Not Ricky Mandel. Fuck. Buddy Royal. Excuse me. Buddy Royal and Levi Shapiro. Who are accompanied to the ring by Brian Big by Brian the Z-Man Zane, the influencer, Brian Zane. <laughs> they put him in the white. I like the white. Yeah, I like that. Facing off against the War Machine. And that is, of course, Hanson and Raymond Rowe. Let's put them both in the red. Yeah. 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 Both of them. Alright. So. Why? Brian Zane has made a new stable. I don't think of this. Uh, Brian Zane has made a new stable. He's brought in Beer City Bruiser and Brian Malonis and Ryan Davidson and both of his clients. And he's also brought in Buddy Royal, Levi Shapiro, and uh, who, who the fuck? Who, 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 who's that other, who's that other bastard? Rick, and Ricky Mandel into the group to form Z-Man Enterprises. And he's, he wants those fucking, he wants a tag titles. He wants, he wants anything. He wants any belts. He wants to control this company. With the amount of belts we have, I don't think you can really control a company with just a single division. Buddy Royal and Hanson starting us off. You do not want to take War Machine lightly. You fucking do not. You do not want to take War Machine lightly. I've seen those motherfuckers in real life. I've seen them in real life. I've seen them on TV. You don't want to fuck with these guys. War Machine are fucking awesome. <laughs> War Machine are fucking great. Both of them. Hanson and Raymond Rowe. Hanson's so fucking big. But like, Hanson's a big guy. But like, he can fucking move. And Raymond Rowe's good too, I guess. <laughs> Buddy Royal, Levi Shapiro. Levi Shapiro, I believe a former uh, Wrestling with Regret YouTube champion. Buddy Royal, I have no idea. Brian Zane. The influencer at ringside. Might interfere in this match. I don't know. He probably won't. But he probably won't because Fire Pro managers don't really want to really do that. But... Levi Shapiro now tagged in alongside Raymond Rowe. And immediately as I say that, oh my god, fucking suplex to the outside. But Raymond able to get in. Brian's in just threw in a fucking baseball bat line explosive barbed wire on it. Into the fucking ring. So, whoever wins this is gonna get a tag title opportunity. I don't know which title. Oh shit. I don't know which title, but it's gonna be one of them. At least it's, it's gonna be one of the tag titles. You dick kick city. Uh, Brian Zane not in a match tonight. He's not gonna be in a match tonight. He might be in the rumble. You know he might be in the rumble. You know because it's it's 50 people. Brian Zane could be in the rumble. But you know he, he probably won't. You know, he's a manager. I mean he can rest. He's wrestled a couple times, but he's a man. He's a manager. He's wrestled a couple times on this channel. Hanson and Raymond Rowe assisted powerbomb. And 
Raymond. Throws Buddy to the uh, to the corner. Oh, that exploding exploding barbed wire bat being taken advantage of by both by both teams. Now Levi Shapiro again being tagged in. Body slams Hanson on his own partner. That's crazy. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, how'd you feel about uh, Naomi returning? Or Trinity, excuse me. How do you feel about Trinity returning for the Rumble? She did not do a goddamn thing in that Rumble. She didn't do a fucking thing in that Rumble. And that is a kendo stick in the ring. But yeah, Naomi didn't do a fucking thing. She did. She did some stuff with, like in the first like like the first like 10, 15 minutes of the match. But after that, like it was it was just her sitting in the corner doing nothing for like 40 minutes. Ooh, shit, ooh. Black hole slammed by a Hanson. Both teams going to tag in their partners, Buddy Royal and Raven Rowe. Assisted power bomb by War Machine again. Meanwhile, Buddy Royal and Levi Shapiro. Buddy Royal eats a uh, sidewalk slam. And Raymond Rowe <laughs> power bombs Buddy Royal. Don't know too much about Buddy Royal and Levi Shapiro. Is that from Levi Shapiro? Used to appear on uh, Do It For The Content on Wrestling With Regret. He used to appear on there a lot. <laughs> I think he used to. He was the YouTube champ. I didn't really watch that Do For The Content thing. I, I just. I know it appeared. What the fuck is this? Oh, wow. Fucking. STO Saito Suplex combo that only gets a two. Larry by Raymond. Have ever the finisher. Hammer blow by Levi. What's Levi looking for? Elbow to the back of Raymond. Raymond's immediately back up. Raymond trio well position. Punching Levi in the uh, chest and possibly in the testy area. I don't know, man. Choking him out. I'm sorry if I sound sick. I usually sound sick. I've sound sick on a couple of these videos, but I know it, it, it just happens, you know? Not the best time of year. It's not the best time of year. I, I'm pretty sure I've had COVID in the past. My immune system got compromised. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every afternoon I break my legs. Every night I break my arms. You know, that's, that's what I fucking sound like, you fucking pussy. Oh, well, I'm gonna make these videos anyway, because you know what? I'm not, I'm not that. I don't feel that icky. What the fuck did Buddy Rhodes do? Like, if, I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit, Boston Crab by Buddy Royal. But Hanson almost immediately gets out of it. Double suplex by the Classic Connection. And that's their team name, they're called the Classic Connection. Buddy Royal, Neva Shapiro. Uh, a couple matches from now, we're gonna see the, the Z-Man Enterprises again. Because Ryan Davidson, Brian Malonis, and uh, Ricky Mandel are gonna be in the a never open weight six man tag title match One, two, against uh, Dalton Castle and the boys. Punched it ahead there by uh, is that Buddy Royal? I, I can't tell. Another once again. Fucking uh, stun gun there. Look at this tiger driver. But fucking Buddy Roy able to stop it. Hanson's not gone for the Hanson driver. David Rowe's not gone for Death Row. I don't know what Buddy Roy and Levi Shapiro's uh, finishers are. But ooh, big suplex by Raymond Rowe. Not by Rowe, by Hanson. And Raymond, big Larry to Levi. You might see, like, so yeah, there's gonna be a rumble tonight. Or not, not tonight. There's gonna be a rumble after night three. I'm gonna make a video 
where it's the normal it's probably gonna go up almost immediately after the um, after night three it's gonna go it's gonna go up after night three not almost immediately but after night three and so what's gonna happen is but you know I'm not really that interested in this match I'm gonna show off some statistics so far just to give out some statistics we have for most time in the rumble we have one eye jack with 45 minutes and 50 seconds and then for most eliminations Sayak Kavitani and one eye jack are all are tied with nine with nine eliminations each and then for shortest time in the rumble, we have Viano 4 at 53 seconds, so not even a full minute. <laughs> and then the winners, the previous winners, there's been three previous winners. If the the first the first winner was Eric Angle, the brother of Kurt Angle. He was in a fatal full way match that involved Suwama, Shinya Hashimoto, and El Hijo del L.A. Park, I believe? I don't know. Well, he... Well, they they lost. Eric Angle did not win that match. I think Suwama... I think Suwama retained that ma that title. And then... The second the second winner was the Shark of the Dungeon... Rep, who represented the Dungeon of Doom in that match. He did not win. I think... I think... Oh, I think Warrior was... I think it was Ultimate Warrior. I don't know. And then Tim Donst and Billy Scott slash or Tim Donst slash Billy Scott. So let me talk about that. <laughs> Not my proudest moment of this game. So what happened was Tim Donst was supposed to be number 50. Billy Scott won the match. But number 50, he was number 40. He was like number 48 or something like that. Billy Scott eliminated, eliminated, eliminated that last guy in the room. I forgot who it was. I, might have, I, think it, I think it was Gary Albright. But, the thing is, Tim Dodds just never showed up. He, ne he never came out for number 50. So I booked a match. Tim Dodds and Billy Scott. The winner would wrestle the then champion Hulk Hogan in the main event of night three of the show. In the main event of the show. Not, not night three, just like the main event of the show. Because that was before. That was before I was actually like taping these, and then the winner would be in the opening match against Hulk Hogan in a, another IWGP Heavyweight Title match. So Billy Scott lost. He lost his match in the opening. Then Tim Donst also lost his match against Hulk Hogan in, in the main event. So Hulk Hogan defended his title twice, which is a first. And it'll probably be the only time that's ever happened. The match is still fucking going. <sighs> Ooh, nice fucking, um... Shit, uh, sit out franchiser. <laughs> just sit out franchiser. No, no, the franchiser was different. I think the franchiser just looked a little bit different. <laughs> this Lee West Shapiro running elbow drop to Hansen. This match has been way more competitive than I thought it was going to be. Sidewalk slam by Hansen. <sighs> This match is going to be for the um, IWGP Heavyweight Titles, Heavyweight Tag Titles, Al Alabama, not Alabama, so like a Black Hole Slam again by Hanson. These two teams really won, nine, really won a tag title shot. Both of these teams really won. I know, I know Brian Zane wants to have a tag, at least one tag title in his fucking, in his place. He wants one. Buddy Royal hits a backside 
after reversing a fucking Tiger Driver attempt. <laughs> Dr. Roy able to stop the count. Oh, fucking nasty. Overhead belly to belly suplex by Raymond Rowe. Larry to Levi. Ryan Day just keeps throwing weapons into the ring. And none of these guys are using it. Might have said by Hanson. Hanson tags at Raymond Rowe. Assisted power out again. Ooh, man. Nice, uh, tag. That's, that's like. What, what fucking suplex was that? That was. It's not the Taz plex. It, it, it's, it's a Taz plex. Fucking Taz used to use that, but like. I'm gonna hit that T bone. I think I'm gonna T bone. I don't know. No, no, T bone's the, um. Yeah, T bone's the one where, like, he. Like. No, that was a. That's a capture. Another fucking. Double arm DDT. That better go. He used that earlier. Better use on Raymond Rowe. I don't know. But again, Levi Shapiro not able to save the count. Most of these matches go fucking long. Most of these tag matches go really long. Raymond elbow to the back of Buddy Royal. Another Tazplex. I don't know what suplex that is. I'm just going to call it a task plus. But well, again, nasty double on DDT. Will Hanson stop the count again? Probably. No! The classic connection. Get an IWGP Heavyweight Tag Title Shot next show. It's nice. It's awesome. It's great. There's almost no help from Brian Zane. You know, almost no help from a no actual help from Brian Zane. Almost no actual help from Brian Zane. Brian Zane did throw down explosive barbed wire bat like almost immediately into the ring. So take a bunch of will, I guess. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna continue filming for this sometime later. Ah. <laughs> What was the last match? Classic Connection versus War Machine. That was a good one. I have to do a, I had to do a cut because uh, I I went to bed. <laughs> I don't remember much of last night. Anyway, our next match up here today is gonna be Yuki Nakai from UWFI taking on Matt Jackson, accompanied by Nick Jackson, representing Bullet Club for the World for the I said World, the Wonder of Stardom Championship. Let's go. Matt fucking Jackson's held this belt for longer than I expected him to. Matt Jackson's held this belt for a long fucking time. But let me tell you the story of Yuki Nakai if you haven't you, if you haven't heard about it. Yuki Nakai was a MMA fighter slash shoot wrestler, and he wrestled. For, I think it was I think it was rings. It was rings or it was um. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it was Fighting Network rings. I don't remember, but Yuki Nakai in the finals of a tournament. No, I think it was, it wasn't the finals, it was like the semi-finals, it was the, it was the round before the finals against uh, Gerard Gordeau, if you, and if you're a UFC fan, you'll know who Gerard Gordeau, Gordeau is, he was the first ever finalist of a, of the UFC tournament, he lost to Hoist Gracie in the first, uh, UFC main event, so, he wrestled, Yuki Nakai wrestled Gerard Gordeau, and Gerard Gordeau, he uh, was like fucking poking the eye of Yuki Nakai. Like he focused on like I think it was his right eye. Oh my god! Like he would he focused on that eye and shit like that. Like it looked he it looked like his eye had been ripped out of his fucking face. Like it, it it looked horrible. Um, he's blind in that eye now. So and he's he fucking won the fight. Yuki Nakai won that fucking fight. And he went to the fucking fight. I don't, I don't he lost the fight. I don't think Yuki Nakai won the. Uh, Tournament, all the whole thing. <laughs> we looked here. You get a card. Yeah, you get a Kai wrestling Matt Jackson tonight. Nick just told uh, you could just you kind of suck it. 
Is it Shudo? Uh, no, it was Value Tudo Japan 1995. That that's it wasn't rings, it was Value Tudo Japan. And he won the fight against Gerard Gordo Gordo. Oh he had fucking two fights after that. He fought Craig Pittman after the fight. Oh crap fucking Craig Pittman wrestled wrestled a WCW as Sergeant Craig Pittman. And then he lost to Hicks and Gracie in the main in the main event, which I mean, it's fucking Hicks and Gracie. I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose to Hicks and Gracie no matter what. Right. Hicks and IWGP champion and IWGP and tag team champion and junior tag team champion. Reverse pile, reverse tombstone by Matt Jackson. You can tie tombstone by Matt. There's a powerbomb pin, a jackknife pin, the Kevin Nash pin, Yuki Nakai. We're rocking a blue gi. You don't really see blue gis. Of uh, course, you see uh, Gene the Bell's uh, pink gi, the pink gi that uh, Gene the Bell wears. But I don't think I've ever seen a blue gi. Matt Jackson tried to pin Yuki Nakai with a one. Yuki Nakai's a tough son of a bitch. I don't know how how Matt Jack how Matt is even supposed to fight this soup. He takes super kicks him in his fucking eye. That'd be horrible. No, Matt. No fucking. Imagine if I could make the um, the tag the boot with like a bunch of tacks on it, and he just fucking super kicks a kind of face, like right where his, like right where like his eye is. Oh my god, that'd be fucking horrible. I saw that fucking, uh, that, that tax spot. I think it was, it was one of the Jacksons kicking, uh, Candice Ray, I believe. Oh my god, I thought she fucking died. I thought she fucking died. I had never seen shit like that before. And another hit, little heel hook there by Yuki Nakai. Matt Jackson able to get out of it. I think this is like the toughest match that Matt Jackson's been in. Look at this. Funny looking pin there, but no. You can kinda of kicks out of two. So Take to the balls of Matt Jackson. Come on. Come on, Matt. You know better than that. Matt with a guillotine choke. Matt Jackson, not really known as a submission specialist. Yuki Dakai, of course, is a submission specialist. He's a... He's a black, black belt in jiu-jitsu under Carl Gracie Jr. Carl Gracie... Carlos. Carlos Gracie Jr. and a black belt in judo. So... I know shit. What's Matt looking for? Matt. Diving splash. Will that be enough for Yuki Dakai? No. Yuki Dakai kicks at it too. Fucking big ass kick right to Mag Jackson's dome and another heel hook. But now that's a rope break. Yuki Dakai going for a Kimura. Again, rope break. Mag Jackson very soup. Mag Jackson very uh, quick to get to those ropes. Ooh, 2.9. Yuki Dakai has always has been trying to, hit, to tap Mag Jackson out. Matt's been trying to pin. Matt. That's it. That's it. We have a we have a new Wonder Woman Storm champion. That's it. Yuki Nakai has won the Wonder Woman Storm Championship. Holy shit. If it if it was gonna be anybody, it had to be Yuki Nakai. That's crazy. That was pretty close. That was a pretty close fight up until the end. Like, Matt got some good shit in, Yuki Kai got some good shit in. Matt held that title for longer than I anticipated him to hold it for. How long did he hold it for? Like, he, held it, he defended it like, like at least five times. At least like four or five times. Let me see here. Before we go on to the next match, let me see here. What am I looking for? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, Boss is gonna defend tonight. I don't remember who. Not not tonight. Not this show. Not this night, but like the next next entry is gonna be five defenses. He beat Yumiko Hata for the belt. So let's see one more match. Who's next? All right, here's up. Here's our next. Here's a match. This match is gonna be fucking crazy. I bet this match is gonna be crazy. Sunny Chiba, the future Stardom champion. Defending you wonder a star champion. He's defending that belt for a little while defending the belt Against Sabu The homicidal suicidal genocidal Sabu Who is a comedy to the ring by Pip by then Bill Alfonso and that's why we need to be the red rebel. Bye 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 Sabu. I can't, I can't do a good. I can't do a Bill Alfonso impression. I fucking can't. I can't do one. Sonny Chiba. He's defended against. uh I'm just the manager. Sonny Chiba has defended against. uh Masaru Yakushiji. Mike Von Eric. Chris Von Eric. And that's it. That's it. Sabu wrestled a couple times on on these uh, cards. I think he. I don't think this is. The, I think this is the first time he's wrestled. I, this is the first time I've ever recorded it. Sabu eats a punch. Sabu is a tough motherfucker. So it's so Sunny Chiba might have to. Ooh, big fucking punch by Sabu. Sabu, of course, accompanied by Bill Alfonso. Do you, I think Bill Alfonso might wanna uh, step in for this match. Might wanna, might wanna try to get. Oh, kick to the balls, to Sunny Chiba. Sabu, doing a smart thing because they don't. No one gets fucking. Uh, no one actually gets uh, disqualified for for nut punches in this game. I'm pretty sure I, I could just put it in settings, but, but you know what? I don't want to anyway. But yeah, Bill Alfonso. I think he might wanna. I think it's in his best interest to step in. Big fucking knee by Sonny Chiba. I think that's I think that's the knee that knocked out fucking Masana Yakushiji. Three elbow combination there by Sonny Chiba. Sonny Chiba has been fucking reigning dominant in the Wondrous Dark Division. Kicked to the balls again by Sabu. Sabu deadlift. I thought he was gonna go for one of those deadlift Germans, but Sabu tried to go for a corner move, but Sonny Chiba dodged. Another knee. Followed by a question mark kick. Sends Sabu down. An Anaconda Vice by Sunny. But Sabu able to get out of it. Sabu snapmare. <laughs> Sabu kicked to the balls again. But yeah, as I was trying to say, I think Bill Alfonso, it's in his best interest to try and fucking intervene. It's his best interest to try and just. Because he knows, I bet Bill Alfonso knows how fucking terrifying Sonny Chiba is to wrestle against. He's fucking knocked the shit out of, like, everyone he's wrestled against. Two. 2.9. 2.9 this early in the match. Ooh, this match is gonna be fucking short. Sabu. Great choke. Does nothing, though. Wants to the head. That's sunny, sunny. Oh shit. Oh, fucking back fist. Spinning back fist. Sabu able to kick away Sunny. Sabu not going for any of his finishing moves. No. Spinning back fist again by Sunny. Takes Sabu down. Slap back fist. Kick to the head. More slaps. Oh shit. Oh, knee to the head. Sabu's up. More slaps. Another fucking roundhouse. Another knee. Another question mark kick. Kicks. Three fucking kicks in combination there by Sunny Chiba taking down Sabu. Look at this. Give up. Give up. 
I don't know what that move even was, but Sabu dodged a kick. Sabu body slam. Not going for any moves here. Boston Crab, but he Sonny Chiba was immediately in the ropes. Three kicks in combination there by Sonny Chiba. I invested in this match. Another hold there by Sabu. Sabu's probably not going to do anything from it. More slaps by Chiba. Back fist again. Sends Sabu down. If he pins, this might be it. Kick to the balls. Oh no. Three elbows. Takes down Sabu. If Sonny Chiba just pins, then this match is over. Like, but he just well, he wants to fucking knock him out. He wants to knock him out or tap him out. He doesn't want to pin him. Never mind. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Sonny Chiba gets the win. <laughs> Sonny Chiba has been given. Very, very uh, easy pickings here. I feel like yeah, I've been giving him easy pickings. Next, the next fucking show we're doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of a harder opponent for Sunny. All right, next match is gonna be for the Admiral Lord Montevans Rules Championship. Set time. Time is gonna be 15 minutes. Ropes are off. He's defending against. Who is he defending against? Takashi Yoshida of R.E.D. from Dragon Gate. So I think, yeah, Takashi Yoshida of R.E.D. Let's do this. Under 15 minute time limit. Um, none of these matches have gone to the 15 minutes. They've gotten close to the 15 minute time limit, but they've always kind of just they've usually I think the longest I think the closest they went to 15 minutes was like 14 minutes 50 something like I, I think I think one of those like the, I think it was Kabat Ant Kabat Ant won the Kabat Ant the first ever uh Avalon Montemans Rules Champion I think he went to like 1459 to somebody like the, he almost went to 15 minutes <laughs> If it does go to move to 50 minutes, then I'm just going to send it to draw. I don't think this match is going to go 15 minutes, but I should probably do that. If it goes to 15 minutes, then it's going to be a draw or maybe a judge's decision. Um, <laughs> Yoshida gets slapped in the face by Bruce. Bruce with a big clubbing bro. No, not Bruce. Takashi with a big clubbing blow. Takashi representing R.E.D. Three clubbing blows in succession to Bruce. Bruce last show I think wrestled Teddy Hart. And uh, Bruce Lee won that match. He won against Teddy Hart. So. Two punches in the back. Yoshida's head, but Yoshida is still up. He's still up. <laughs> Body slam. Oh, God. Body slam to the outside, but Bruce Lee almost immediately gets back in. Kashi. Very bigger. Bigger than Bruce, I'd say. I wonder who's gonna win this match. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna win. I'm guessing Bruce, because I don't think Takashi's got the testicular fortitude to win this match. <laughs> running fist there by running punch there by Bruce Lee. 
kicks and punches being thrown between both men. Who's gonna win this exchange? Bruce. Referee Keith Bang still here. By the way, he's got very blue eyes. Bruce, oh. Big spinning kick there by Bruce. Takashi was in the corner. Five minutes have almost elapsed. We only reached a five minute mark. We gotta work four of the way till 15 minutes. Arm um, sidekick there by Bruce. And Bruce has been very, very uh, dominant in this match. Mostly one sided. Takashi got some shit in, but Bruce has just been dismantling Takashi. But he might come back here. Just you know. Takashi takes down Bruce, elbow to the head. But Bruce able to fight back. Big kick. Another hard upside kick by Bruce Lee. Big punch to the head. But Bruce taking the bow. Kick to the body. It looked like it looked like a kick to the body. Takes down Takashi. Combination there by Bruce. Another more kicks, my god. More fucking kicks. Bruce dropped to a hole, takes down Takashi Yoshida. Elbow to the tummy. Another Harlem sidekick. He's gotta go, he's gotta go for 15 Harlem sidekicks in a row. No, oh shit. Backdrop suplex and Bruce is just fucking immediately because he fucking no sold it. Come on, Takashi beat his ass. He fucking no soldier move. Beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> Yoshida. Again, Bruce with the bow. But Yoshida with an elbow takes down Bruce. We're almost at 10 minutes. We're at the 10 minute, 10 minute mark here. Oh shit, Yoshida. He's coming. Yoshida's time to come back. What's the, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Bruce just gets up immediately. Like, like fuck that. I'm not, I'm not selling that bitch. Yoshida starting to come back here. I went to the back of Bruce and said, Bruce is down. Bruce gets hit with a fucking Larry to an elbow. Short arm clothesline by Yoshida. Could Yoshida be the one to beat Bruce Lee? Could Yoshida be the one? Trying to hold into the ropes, my god. Bruce, hot combination there. By both men, who's gonna be taken down? Roundhouse kick to the face, takes down Yoshida. Drop to hold again. 11.35. We're almost at 15. Bruce, what's he going for here? Big jumping kick. Takes down Yoshida, but Yoshida's back up. Yoshida elbow to the back. Big Lariat. Takashi. Power, power, power slam to the outside. And now both men are running on the outside. Power slam again and onto the floor. What's this? Oh shit. Oh my god. Power bomb. Sit out power bomb on the outside. Both men are back up. Thirteen twenty-five. 
Yoshida back in the ring. Oh shit, we're almost at 14. We have one minute left. <laughs> they have one minute left and then they're done. I love sidekick by Bruce. Will we see a draw? Will we see a time of a draw? Oh shit. Yoshida. Picks him up. Does he go for that sit-out powerbomb again? Yes, he does with the pin. Two. Threats it! Takashi Yoshida. With the upset win over Bruce Lee. That was fucking crazy. That was awesome. I didn't expect Takashi to win this match. I thought he was just going to be another fucking win for Bruce. But no. Fire jumping bomb. It's called the fire jumping bomb, apparently. I don't believe that. I don't believe that's actually what it's called. Takashi Yoshida with the win. I'm typing it down right. That's why it takes so long to do these. I just there's typing down. All right, this match, this next match is gonna be. Uh, pr pretty pretty weird. This is gonna be a pretty weird match. Um, so let me just edit the settings here, so I don't get fucked. So anyone anyone ever play uh Dev the Def Jam games? Well, we got the Def Jam people in here. We got we got the Def Jam people in this fucking ring in in these in this fucking um game. We got the Def Jam people. All right, so. Yeah, Carmen Electra, who will be accompanied to the ring by Fat Joe and Trejo. Where is Fat Joe? A crack. <laughs> I already have Danny Trejo, but like, I'll just get rid of that other Danny Trejo. Facing off against Chuck Norris. Fuck, come on. Carmen Electra, Fat Joe, and Danny Trejo as seconds versus Chuck Norris for the World of Stardom title. And also, just to let you guys know, Crow and D-Mob are also going to be in on this show. They're going to be on night three. I think they're like, I think they're second last. Oh, no, they're not good. No, they're match twenty-two. Chuck Norris has been defending that World of Stardom Championship for a long time. I can say that a lot with a lot of people in this, in this uh, game, but Chuck, 13-0 in this uh, ring. In this ring, he is 13-0. Who the fuck is going to beat Chuck Norris? He has so many people that could beat Chuck Norris. Comet Electra, Chuck Norris. Comet Electra overpowering Chuck Norris. Almost immediately gets a match. Knee by Carmen. What a ups what a debut win this will be for Carmen Electra if she wins. She beats Chuck Norris in her debut match. That'd be fucking crazy. Here's some ground rules for the Rumble. So, the Rumble, anyone can participate, even champions. Champions can be in it to the only person, the only champion that cannot be in the Rumble is the IWGP Heavyweight Champion. So that will either be Genichiro Tenryu or Jumbo, or Jumbo Saruta. Tenryu can just enter in it again if he wants to. Like, if either if either Jumbo or Tenryu lose the, lose the match, like if Ten if Jumbo retains or Gator Tenry wins the title. Um, either man can go into the Rumble again. He can go into the Rumble. Since they're not the IWG Heavyweight Champion anymore, you know what I mean? Oh god. Sorry, my throat is really coarse right now. Chuck Norris with the Judo throw up black the Judo black belt. Chuck Norris by Karma Electra. 
is being accosted by two, not accosted, I think that's the wrong term, being managed by Fat Joe and Danny Trejo. And you got, and I, I, you gotta be sure, you, you gotta know that Crow is watching in the back, just fucking, like, seeing, seeing a Carmen Electric and win this match. Kicked to the balls by Chuck Norris. Carmen. Carmen's been really fucking good this match, like, she's been fucking taking it to Chuck. I might have spoken too soon. Yeah, I might have spoken too soon. Chuck Norris. But Karma Electra. Able to get out of it. So who who is all gonna be in the D Mob versus Crow match? Crow D Mob and Crow are gonna be in it, of course. So it's D Mob, Flavor Flav, Sticky Fingers, and Sean and Shauna. Versus Crow, Trejo, Fat Joe, and Lil' Kim. So Trejo and Fat Joe are gonna be wrestling at night three. And Lil' Kim as well. I don't know about Carmen. Carmen might not even... Carmen's not gonna rest now. She's gonna be out of commission. This is match seven. Two. No. Oh. This is match number seven. We have three more matches to go. And that'll be night one. Done. We have the deathmatch title is actually going to be on the line tonight. On this show. Not on the show, on this night, excuse me. Because it's going to be, it's going to be Supreme versus Brendan Shaw with a last man standing match. And Chuck Harlem sidekick of his own. Shades, shades, shades of Bruce Lee. And you know those two men have history. Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee. You know those two have history. Bruce Lee beat Chuck Norris in a movie. I don't remember what movie it was. I think it was Enter the Dragon. I don't know. Kick to the balls by Carmen. Kick to the head by Bruce. Not Bruce, but Chuck. Chuck. Fireman's carry slam there. Kick to the... Punch kick combination by Chuck. And Chuck with a with head, leg lock there. Carmen Electra's really been holding her own, but I don't, I don't know if she's able to beat Chuck tonight. Spinning back fish, shades of Audra Kong. She might have been trained with Audra Kong, you know, she was a, she was a dance choreographer for Michael Jackson. She might have been choreography. Oh, I heard she might have been choreography with, with Audra Kong as well, but Chuck Norris. Gets the win, and you know d -Mod, not d -Mod, you know Crow is probably fucking pissed off right now that Carmen Electra did not win the match. Right, here's, here comes that never open weight six man tag title match. Actually, hang on. I'm going to announce, right here, right now, the next person that Chuck Norris is going to be facing will be Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. And Chuck Norris will wrestle in the next show. That's, I promise you that. I promise. All right, next match: Dalton Cats on the boys beat uh, the Embassy for the Ring of Honor. Not the Ring of Honor for the Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Titles. Z-Man Enterprises. We got Ryan Davidson, former Hurricane Pro Heavyweight Champion. I think he was also like multiple reality of wrestling shit too. Well, what else has he done? What what else is Brian Davidson? I don't know. Brian Malonis. Brian fucking Malonis. Let me put him in the blue. Does he have a blue? He has a dark blue. And then Ricky Mandel. Yeah, I don't know much about Ricky Mandel. And they're all accompanied to the ring by one influencer, Brian Zane. Let's go. Let's do this. Imagine the fucking heat if I booked Brian Zane to be in a main event. Like in the fucking... Like if... Imagine if the fucking heat if Brian Zane 
fucking wins the heavyweight title. That be that would be fucking insane. Here comes the boys and Dalton Castle in the back. Do you guys like Dalton Castle's new theme? I don't really much like it too much. I li I preferred the the um, I want it all uh, one. The one the one that he had in Ring of Honor before they got bought out. Dalton Castle showing off. It's gonna be Ryan Davidson versus Dalton Castle in the first opening in the opening matches of the opening the opening segment of this match. <laughs> Dalton Castle's probably gotta gotta watch out for someone like Brian Malonis. Brian Malonis is a really big dude. He's a big he's a big big boy. He's got hair. He, he's bald. I thought he was bald. I know he's got hair. Uh, Beer City Bruiser. Another Z-Man Enterprises associate did not win the Super Heavyweight title in the earlier, in the first match of this night. Big fucking Frankensteiner there by Tom Castle. But yeah, he did not win that match. The Classic Connection are the number one contenders for either the Fire Pro Wrestling Tag Titles or the uh, IWGP Heavyweight Tag Titles. They're number one contenders for either one. I haven't decided yet. I think they might also be eligible for junior titles, huh? Ryan Davidson, like I said, former Hurricane Pro heavyweight champion, one of the longest reigning. I know Hurricane Pro is a fucking like loser promotion. I think they're on a title match. At least I think they're like they're one of those promotions that are on title match. I think. Reality of wrestling as well. Yeah, Ryan Davidson was a, is a big uh, reality of wrestling guy. I think. Ryan Malonis. I think he's a Ring of Honor six-man tag champion. I don't know, and I don't know anything about Ricky Mandel. So, Ricky Mandel, the only one on T on Z-Man Enterprises not wearing not wearing at least something blue. Here, we, Ryan Davidson wearing light blue. Brian Malone is wearing dark blue. Ricky Mandel just wearing black and white. And Brian Zane, of course, wearing the white jumpsuit. Big vertical suplex by the big Brian Malonis. Brian Malonis has tried. He and Beer City Bruiser have tried to get a tag title win, but they have not succeeded. They are losers. <laughs> Here comes Ricky Mandel. And Mandel, what's this? Went for a suplex with boy number two. It's a front drop kick takes him fucking outside the ring. And Ryan Davidson. Going outside the ring. And Brian Zane. Brian Zane's going in too. You know that motherfucker, Brian. Where's his spray bottle when you need it? Oh my god. Fucking suplex. Double suplex into the fucking. Uh, into the apron. My god. Boy number two. Still in the match. Yeah, boy, boy two got tagged in like a little while ago. Will Zima Enterprises see their first titles? Don Castle, what's he looking for here? What the fuck? Oh. Mickey Mandel, I think, reversed the pin attempt. What's this? Ooh, God. Backbreaker. <laughs> Chopped by Dalton Castle. And Ricky Mandel tags in, and oh, there's the barbed wire bat. If you remember... We, that barbed wire bat was a major, not really a major, but like a, it was part of that match with uh, the Classic Connection War Machine. They used it there. Brian Zane also put it in, so who knows? Drop to a hold by Boy 1. Boy 1 now tagged in. Ryan Davidson. Now, Brian Zane has told me that Ryan Davidson is there is Ryan David he wants Ryan Davidson to be their guy he wants he wants Ryan Davidson to be like their main guy he's, he's the main guy of Z-Man Enterprises Brian Malone is the Beer City Blues are the heavies Mickey Mandel is the mid card dude and the classic connection are the tag dudes are the other tag that are smaller tag guys oh shit tree of woe by boy one and oh my god fucking spitting yield kick onto, onto Ryan Davidson 
Now, I usually don't, I don't really want to do this, but Ryan Davidson, has, not Ryan Davidson, Brian Zane has told me that every member of the, uh, of Z-Man Enterprises has a spot in the Rumble. So it's every single member. So it's Ryan Davidson, Brian Malonis, Ricky Mandel, Beer City Bruiser, and the Classic Connection. So that's six people. It's six people in a Rumble of 50. And Brian Zane, probably not going to be in it. Brian Zane has said himself that he's not going to be in it. So take it that what you will. You know, Brian Zane's pretty untrustworthy, so he probably has a fucking spot. He's probably like number one or something. Takes him down. And here comes Ryan Davidson again. All these men are, oh shit, everyone's on the outside now. Ricky Mandel and Boy 2 are currently in. If this goes to double count, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. The fucking. The bar buyer bat, my god, the bar by red's broken. Ricky Mandel follow a slam. Onto fucking. Boy 2. Shit, Malonis. Ooh, God. Big fucking Laird of the Malonis. Backslide to Malonis, but that's not going to do anything. And Ricky Mandel is still it. He's still tagged in. He's a legal man. Punch to the head. Punches back and forth by both Boy 2 and Ricky Mandel. Mandel's super kick. Onto Boy 2, sends him down. But no, Boy 2's up, and here comes Brian Malonis once again. Oh god, 53 Psy by Ricky Mandel. But Brian Malone's not going for the pin. Big fuck it, like my fucking god, turn him inside out. And Malone is snap suplex. And boy, two snap suplex of his own. On to big Brian How is he so strong? Big chop to Brian, but Brian immediately fucking hits him with a sideways sidewalk slam. Here comes Dalton Castle. But Brian immediately able to take him to halfway across the ring. Blow to the back by by Brian. Don't want to punch. Brian with a punch. Dalton back and forth. These both men. Dalton rolling elbow. Sends Brian down. No shit. Oh, no. I thought he was going to go for the bangerang. But Brian Malonis. He would have done something. What is this? Samoan drop. Fucking God. I didn't know how much it would hurt to fucking get hit by that. By a man of Brian Malonis' size. I think Brian's like at least 400. Shit, Dalton Castle. Gut red suplex. Takes down Ricky Mandel. But Mandel is up. Don't try to go for something. But Mandel able to, able to block it. Yeah. Follow a slam by Mandel. DDT on to boy one by Mandel. And Mandel big German. And he's he falls for the obvious trap. Of you don't pin anybody. You don't pin Someone with her at the opposite corner. Rude awakening by Ricky Mandel. Stole my fucking move, you idiot. Yeah, fucking beat his ass, Dalton Castle. Beat his ass. Stole my fucking move. Drop kick by Boy One. And here comes Brian Malone again. Ryan Davidson, I don't think, has been in for a little while. It's always, it's usually just been Ricky Mandel or Brian Malone. Malonis, what's he looking for here? Big suplex. Both men are down. Brian Malonis is getting up. Boy one's up as well. Boy one. Big splash to the back of Brian Malonis. But yeah. So to all I know, for all I know, I don't I don't really know. 
it could be Brian Davidson, Brian Malonis, Ricky Mandel, Beer City Bruiser, and the Classic Connection are going to be in the Rumble. They're gonna, they are gonna be in the Rumble. Brian Malonis with a big slam. Slam down again onto Boy 2. I don't know what order they're going to be in. I don't know when they're going to come out, but those guys are going to be... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Easter were crossing, but no. Only one. Boy 1 able to stop the camera. Suplex? No. Brian Malone is just too big. Too big and too heavy. That might have been his, was that his finisher? Oh shit, 1031. Don't no, sit out 1031, but that's a little break. Oh, shit. Ooh, Frankensteiner, but that's a that's a real break as well. Double suplex. And boom, out goes boy two. Maya Davidson. Oh god. Brian Malonis. He's still the legal man. Brian Malonis is the legal man. Okay. And here comes Boy One. Sidewalk slam again onto Boy One. And here comes Z Man Enterprise's crown jewel. Another Baldo bomb by Brian Malonis takes him down. Ryan Davidson. Able. Not Boy One. Did I say Boy One? Boy Two. Boy Two tags in Boy One. Boy 2 working on the arms, or just the arm of Ryan Davidson. My boy 1 is getting worked on. Fucking discus lariat, but no. Boy 1 got up and hit a drop kick. Backslide, that might be it. That might be it. That might be it. That's it! Z Man Enterprises will not see their first title on this show. Wow. Fucking wow. Don the cast on the boys. Retain. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, back again. This one's gonna be like three separate videos. Gonna be stitched into one because uh, this one's gonna be a stitch job. And I, I, this is not in one take, by the way. This is you know, This is not gonna be. This is not in one take. Um. So yeah, deathmatch time on the line. Uh, first time I think that the deathmatch title has not been in night three because fuck Brendan Schaub. He's boring. And he, he's going to be facing off at a last man standing match against Supreme from uh, XPW. Who am I? Supreme! It's fucking stupid. Alright. Uh, Supreme, big deathmatch guy. Yeah, one, one of the, like, I think he was like one of the big talents of SP, uh, XPW back when that company was still around. The Human Horror Film, apparently. That's his nickname. <laughs> the Human Horror Film. Referee Keith Bang of Vision. This is a last man standing match. It's the hope it's a last man standing match. The weapons usually show up, I think, like after the introductions. Here comes the champion, Brendan Shaw, beat Kishin Liger for the title. In a match to. He's 3 and 1. I think that only Ross is. Only one. Only loss. I don't know who that only loss is. <laughs> Brendan Chav. Fuck Brendan Chav. And there you go. There's the weapons. Last man standing match. For the deathmatch title. Let's see, let's see what title is to I know Brendan Chav, I don't think has won like any MMA titles. Ben, and he... Uh, Runner-up of one of the Ultimate Fighter episodes. No, runner-up of the Ultimate Fighter seasons. He was a heavyweight title contender, and I think that's really about it. What about Supreme?
Yeah, immediately it. Okay, what I'm, I'm looking at here, uh, I'm looking at pro wrestling got banned. That's usually like a thing that I. That's usually like a site I would go to for like, like finishers and shit. But like, the two first pictures are of anime characters, and the second one is that. That is that Nicki Minaj. Who is that? Destiny Sukihana Henderson on the official Bad Girls Club wiki. <laughs> the fuck? Let's look at the wrestlers data, data bit. Wait, but yeah, let's look at Cage. Cage match usually is the like better version. Mecha Toad Splash. That's his finisher. Let me look. What was his championship? I know he might have. He probably won like some. Uh, was it a Wrestling games? Oh, he was in Backyard Wrestling 2! Oh, shit. So if he was in Backyard Wrestling 2, I don't even, I don't even know that. There goes the neighborhood. Did, uh, speaking of Backyard Wrestling 2, have any one of you played the, the Backyard Wrestling games? I haven't. I've never played any of the Backyard Wrestling 2 games. I think the earliest wrestling game I've played was, uh... Which one's the one I have? I think it's... I think it's here. It, no, no I, I think it's Shut Your Mouth. Smackdown Shut Your Mouth? I, th I think that's the one I have. I have one of them. One of those games. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, Shut Your Mouth. It's Yeah, I've got... It's Shut Your Mouth. So... Supreme... Has won... Four XPW King of the Deathmatch Championships. One NGX Tag Championship and one WEW Hardcore Championship. Hardcore Tag Championship, excuse me. Supreme has a lot of this, a bunch of different titles. Sur yeah, Supreme has like a... A ton of different titles. Not a ton, but like... Mostly Deathmatch, now, mostly in XPW. Because XPW was a thing. I heard about that whole, that whole uh, fucking XPW shit. You know, that, that, the Dark Side of the Ring episode... Uh, the Dark Side of the Ring episode on that? Bro, that company was fucking insane. Like, those guys were fucking crazy. Not just... Ugh, not just the wrestlers, but like fucking Rob Black was crazy. Fucking was... Rob Black was genuinely insane. I heard everyone's a burger joint. Let's take a look at what Brennan Shaw. Let's see what... He runs like 6,000 podcasts, by the way, so... That's a low count. I think these low count YouTubers need to talk about is Brendan Shaw. Dude. They need. They fucking need to talk about Brendan Shaw. Smokey, Kiwi, if you're watching any of this, I'm pretty sure you're neither. Of you are watching this, but if you watch this video, you need to make a video on Brendan Shaw. You fucking need to make a video on Brendan Shaw. Like that, this fucking guy is. I don't know. I, I don't want to say he's a Christian of MMA. I. I don't know. I don't know who we, 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 you would compare him to in, like, low terms. <laughs> I think he's crazy enough to just be his own separate, like, thing. You know? 2008 Golden Gloves winner for Colorado. That's nice. One-time knockout, knockout of the night winner for UFC. Of course, that was the Mirko Krokop win. And Ring of Fire Heavyweight Championship. From, a uh, from the Ring of Fire Heavyweight Championship from a company called the Ring of Fire. And that's that's all of the titles. Not a whole lot. His total record is 15 and 5. That's a good record. That, that is a good record. That, that's a, that is a pretty good record. 15 and 5. That's not a, that's not a bad record at all. This is a Brendan Shaw's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, walk me to my truck. What else is there to talk about? Fuck. Um. Uh, oh yeah, 2K24. Yeah, I heard 2K24 was gonna come out. Like a like in two weeks. Oh shit, Supreme. Power bomb. Supreme hit that big big power bomb. Shop getting up pretty late. Is this it? Are we gonna have a new champion? We are. Supreme. 
wins the match. Look at that. 24,000. What the fuck? I, is that like recovery time? Is that damage? Supreme power bomb the fuck out of British. Oh, holy shit. Thank God. Fuck Supreme, by the way. Not f no, I, God damn it. I, I don't, fuck Brendan Shaw, by the way. God damn it. Don't fuck Supreme. I don't want to say that. Supreme's dead, so I don't want to... Supreme wins Deathmatch title. We are finally back into Deathmatch roots. Fuck Brendan Shaw. Alright. I'm going to have to go... I'm, I'm going to have to do another take, another recording. Because with the Deathmatches, like, I can't get rid of the weapons. I don't, I don't think I can. Let me look. Let me see if I can. <laughs> I have to get rid of them. I have to alt tab it to do it. Yeah, I have to alt tab. Yeah, I have to alt tab to do it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Fuck. Uh, okay, I'm back. Uh, so this next match, main event of night one, El Phantasmo, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, Taichi Ishimori, and El Phantasmo, representing Bullet Club. Not being accompanied by Gato this time. Gato is not accompanying him. We're facing off against the Artist of Storm Champions, the Colony, Green Ant, Fire Ant, and Arctic Rescue Ant. These two teams have had two matches, both of which have ended in count out wins for the for the, I think it was both for the Colony? No, I think I think it was they Colony won once and then the and then the Bullet, Bullet Close won one back fight via count out. So Last, this is the last match I'm doing. Don't care about the outcome. Outside is off. We're I'm turning outside off. Look at this. So, I hope that means that I will not, that there will not be any, uh, no going outside at all. Which, you know, I'm fine with. I mean, here comes the first team El Phantasmo, Taiji Shimori, Yoshinobu Kanemaru. And yes, I finally got El Phantasma to work for juniors. All I had, I had just had to, because he was listed as a heavyweight. So I was like, "Fuck, he's not a heavyweight." The only reason he's not a heavy, he is not. No, it was a double countout. Like one of them was a double countout. I think Bullet Club won one match, but they lost still. So, Phantasma and also Clark Connors. Yeah, Clark Connors and El Phantasma were listed as heavyweights when they're not heavyweights. They're not. They're not heavyweights. Technically, they're not heavyweights. With Fire Pro, it's not like with like a like New Japan nowadays. Like it's not like with like New Japan and shit, where it's like where it's like if you're a junior, you can't wrestle for heavyweight titles. If you're a junior, you all in, all it is if you're a junior is that you can just you can wrestle for junior titles. You can still wrestle for like heavyweight titles and shit, which I think is cool. I think that I think it's a really good thing. Yoshino Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Green Ant starting us off. I think the first time was Yoshinobu Kanemaru, Taiji Ishimori, and Kenta. And then the second match was Yoshinobu Kanemaru and, and the Gun Brothers, Austin and Colton. And then this match is Yoshinobu Kanemaru, Taiji Ishimori, and El Phantasma. So, Bullet Club's always been... They've, they've switched around their reigns so far. they switched around their guys. And I think that's a good thing. You know? The only mainstay is Yoshinobu Kanemaru. He's, he's been the mainstay. You know, he's been the mainstay of the tag, of these tag matches. He's always there. And of course, Green Ant, Fire Ant, Arctic Rescue Ant are, all, are also there. Fantasma Hubbard in. Current IWGP Heavyweight Tag Champion. As of right now, he is the current IWGP, IWGP Heavyweight Tag Champion. Like, in, in real life, not like in this game, but in real life. Natachi Shimori, former, uh... <laughs> Former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion and Junior Tag Champion and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Like I think like the I think he has the most GC GHC Junior title reigns, I think. He has like six or something like that. I don't know, I might be thinking of a different person. I might be thinking of like a Liger or something, but Green Ant Fire Ant aren't to rescue him. I don't know what times they've won. I think they've won like the trios title for uh like Chikara. I think at least I think Chikara I'm pretty sure Chikara has triple had trio titles. I'm pretty sure they did. Kaiji Ishimori and Fire Ant in the ring.
Oh shit, what's this? Ooh! Nice move by, by Ishimori. Ishimori, also a former a former GHC tag, not G, former, also a former GHC Junior Heavyweight Champion. Alongside your Shinobu Kanemaru, El Phantasmo, former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Excuse me, Junior Tag Champion. What other titles have these guys won? I know Kanemaru, I think, is a former heavyweight. Is, I'm pretty sure Kanemaru's won the, um, the Junior Heavyweight. Day. I'm pretty sure Kanemaru's won the uh, Junior Heavyweight title for New Japan, I think. Former, yeah. he won the World Junior Heavyweight yeah. Championship for uh, All Japan. He's a six-time Junior Heavyweight Tag Champion for New Japan. Seven times, seven-time Junior Heavyweight Champion in Noah. All right. For <laughs> one time. WEW World Entertainment Wrestling. Oh, it's Frontier Martial Arts. <laughs> it's FMW. What about Taiji? I know. Does Taiji won like? What other, what other belts is Taiji or is Taiji held? I don't even fuck with him. Oh shit! Phantasmo! Ooh! I forgot what that move is called. That was one of his finishers, I think. Phantasmo! So, two count. Is that called the CR2? I think it's called the CR2. Let me look. Let me look. I think that's the CR2. Yes, I think it's, I think that's what he calls it. Let me look. Let me look on the Pro Wrestling Wiki because I know they. Phantasmo. The one thing I hate about fandom.com, right? The one thing I hate about this fandom site is that there's fucking ads everywhere. Yeah, CR2. Yeah, it's called CR2. What's Sutton Death? Oh, the super kick. Yeah, CR2. Yeah, so, uh, El, El Fantasma hit Arctic Rescue with the CR2. Kanemaru's got the deep impact. Ishimori has the bloody cross. I don't know what the what the colony have. And Ishimori sends fire to no. Fire Ant reversed, throws Ishimori into the rope, into the corner. Kanemaru blocks a drop kick. These two teams just fucking hate each other. This is the last time I ever booked these teams together, by the way. These are the last, this is the last time. I'm, I'm not booking these two guys against each other. I'm not booking these, I am not booking these teams together again. After this, I'm tired of seeing these two teams wrestle. Oh, I thought he was gonna fucking back body drop him off the fucking ropes. That would have been fucking crazy. Body slam by Kanemaru. Snapmare by Green Ant. Come on! Come on! Tags in El Phantasma. I don't know who I think of, I think that was Phantasma. I don't know who said that, but probably some guy in the audience. Probably probably referee Keith Bang. V Nang goes into the ropes. Gets out of it very quickly though, and Taiji Shimori. Working the arm. Oh. Fan Phantasma doing the finger bang to both Fire and Arctic Rescue Ant. Went for a running knee strike, but no, he missed. Fire ant in the ring now. It keeps fucking showing me like a like a like a back started background recording tab thing, and like I don't fucking want that. You know, I think it's because I have like Pokemon Showdown. Open on like my other tab. Ready to cross face by Ishimori, but no. Iron able to get out of it. Ishimori, what's this? Ooh. Fucking ground zero. Frozen Ishimori has taken a lot of 
but his moves from Keith Lee. That's why he stole that ground zero. Phantasma, I don't know. What the fuck was El Phantasma doing? Shot by Phantasma, what's this? Snap suplex. But the punches. If Bullet Club wins this match, they will have three titles. Because Gabe Kidd is the Fire Pro Wrestling Junior Champion. And David Finley is the Fire Pro Wrestling Champion. So, if they win this, they could get the Artists of Stardom titles back. I think they're from Artists of Stardom Champions. I don't know. I think they are. That's just again, sends Green Ant out. Oh, yeah. No, outside means there's no countouts. Another boss face by Ishimori. Being able to backside for some reason, I don't know why. Why are you backsiding on the outside? Green Ant finding on the outside against two Bullet Club members. Or gets one up, Bullet Club member. And that man being Taiji Shimori. Why the fuck was Green Ant going for a small package? On the outside to a guy that's not even in the match. Another ground zero. And Arthur Rescue Ant hits a fucking X Factor on the Phantasma. Ooh, fucking top rope cutter to Kanemaru. This match is divulged into chaos, and now both illegal men are in the match. Yeah, Arthur Rescue Ant hit a fucking diving cutter onto Kanemaru. I think that might hurt Kanemaru in the meat in the long run. Deep impact by Fire Ant, stealing Kanemaru's move. Sends out Fantasma out of the ring. My god. This match is kicking into another gear, ladies and gentlemen. Kanemaru, what's this? Ooh, suplex. From the apron, and look at this figure four leg lock onto Fire Ant. Will Fire Ant tap out? No, Fire Ant will not tap out. And look at this. Spinning TKO. By El Phantasma. Another figure four leg lock. Applied to Fire Ant. By Kanemaru. Kanemaru trying to work the legs. A Fire Ant. No shit. What a weird looking DDT. That's a pin, but Taiji Shimori stops the count. And look at this cross face applied to Fire Ant. Ishimori, not the legal man. Drop kick into the corner onto Kanemaru. And Fire Ant and Arctic Rescue Ant. No, it's going to be Green Ant and Arctic Rescue Ant. Kanemaru tagging in Ishimori. Double drop kick onto Fire Ant. And Ishimori gets, eats a drop kick into the corner by Arctic Rescue Ant. Arctic Rescue Ant is the legal man. I, I just noticed he is the he is the legal man. Alabama Jam. Will that be enough? Two point nine. Ishimori needs a body slam. But Ishimori drops her hold. What's he looking for here? Four fifty onto his back. But both men are down. Arctic Rescue Ant getting back up for that 450 on his back. Arm drag. Sends Ishimori down. Single leg boss to crab. Will this be enough? No, Ishimori. Able to get out of it. Ishimori's been looking for a big boot. Oh my god. Big boot onto Arctic Rescue Ant, and here comes kind of Mario again. I think, I think it kind of always like the oldest guy in this match. He's not that old, but like he's like, he's. I think he's been in the been in the ring the longest. I think it's since the nineties, at least. Four fifty. What the fuck? Four figure four leg lock onto Green Ant, but Arctic Rescue able to stop the count. Let me do something. And kind of Mario. He sends the ropes. Green Ant, big elbow strike. And Kanemaru raking the eyes. We have not seen the, the deep impact from Kanemaru yet. 
the only finisher we've seen from the Bullet Club is the, is that CR2 from El Phantasm. And that did only got a 2. So, elbows and chops being exchanged between both men. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dropkick sends Ishimori down. Green Ant going to tag in Arctic Rescue Ant. Green Ant, backdrop suplex. Ishimori, what's this? Ooh, Tombstone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lung Blower. No, Code Breaker. Ishimori went for something. Oh, he's going for it again. Oh, my God. I get him. Driving closer to your side. Oh shit. Oh, cross face, cross face. Oh shit. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bullet Club win the war. They won the three match series that I. Here's the thing about this three match series. Probably the one of the worst three matches series. Match was pretty good, though. That was a pretty good match. Bullet Club. Have won the Arsenal Starter Championships. Another title goes to Bullet Club. Another title goes to the Bullet Club. Another title. It's crazy. Where's my mouse? Okay, there it is. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for night one. That's it for night one, man. Here's a little sneak peek into the next match that I'm going to give out. Here's the next match. Let me edit this here. Noah, Tokyo Dome, Keith Bang. Next match. No, I don't want a random select. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Chris Hero will be defending the Never Open Weight Championship against two other men. Who are these two other men, you may ask? Well, these two men are, of the, are the two other men. And I have won the Never Open Weight title twice. And those men are. If I can find them. Mitsuharu Misawa. And the second man to win the title twice. If I can find him, I don't know if I can. It's Thrill Billy Silas. Triple threat match. These two men could make history tonight. Or can Chris Hero defeat two men at the, two men in one match? This is going to be elimination rules. So I'll see you all on night two. Actually, wait, hang on, hang on. Announcement to make. Announcement, announcement, announcement. Oh, shit. I forgot. I'm sorry to keep you guys all here, but... Don't, don't, don't cut off yet. I know some people probably like got off. Night 2 will be main evented. Because these are the only two men that actually got votes on the polls. Which is fine. I don't care. I'm a small YouTuber. This is Nobuhiko Takata facing off against the Mighty Maccabee. I think it was, I, I think I said it was, it was going to be Terry Gordy. But nope. Takata got a vote. So it's going to be Takata versus Mighty Maccabee. For the real world title, main event of night two. Now I'm gonna leave. Bye bye. I'll see you. I'll see you all. Like, I'll see you all. Fuck it tomorrow. Maybe I don't know. Maybe next time we record.